Hey, Diane. Holiday shopping? All done. Everyone's getting the new iPhone 15 from T-Mobile, and T-Mobile's covering the cost. Plus, I got four lines for $25 a line per month. I got to get to T-Mobile. Get four iPhone 15s on us with eligible trade-in when you switch to T-Mobile. <laughs> Minimum of four lines for $25 per line per month without a pay discount using debit or bank account. $5 more per line without auto pay, plus taxes and fees. Phone fee at 24 monthly bill credits for well-qualified customers. Contact us before canceling accounts to continue bill credits or credit stop and balance on required finance agreement due. $35 per line connection charge applies. Ctmobile.com. They were born into wealth, but they didn't hoard it for themselves. These badass sisters were committed to black liberation, so they used their resources to show up for their community in a powerful way. This is Two Minute Black History, what you didn't learn in school. The Fortin sisters were born into a legacy of black communalism. Their father, James Fortin, was a wealthy sailmaker in 1700s Philadelphia. He was also a staunch abolitionist who petitioned against anti-black laws, refusing to rig ships that participated in enslaving his people. So how would his daughters carry on his legacy? Harriet Fortin Purvis was knee deep in the movement. She was a conductor on the Underground Railroad and she and her husband opened their home as a haven for enslaved people trying to make it to freedom. Margareta Fortin was a dedicated abolitionist and suffragist. She spent her life educating our children and even opened up her own school. Margareta toured the country, giving speeches and petitioning for women's rights. Sarah Fortin Purvis was also an abolitionist who contributed to the movement through her writing and poetry. Her words were widely published and she became the voice of the people. The Fortin sisters founded the Philadelphia Anti-Slavery Society and funded many other liberation organizations. Like the Fortins, we must see the importance of sharing our resources to build strong Black communities. Whether it's education, housing, or art, all of us have a role to play in the fight for our liberation. In order to move towards the future, you've got to look to the past. This has been Two Minute Black History, a podcast by Push Black. Show your support by sharing this episode on your social media and join us in amplifying stories we all deserve to know.